Nicole, the math lady, and today we are talking about problems about comparing. And again, I'm talking about word problems where we are comparing two different sets of numbers. Let's take a look at our first problem here. So let's say that our friend Brianna has 322 rubber bands. Remember those small little rubber bands you used to make the bracelets out of? Yes, 322. It's got tons of them. Emily has 184 rubber bands. Not bad, but not as much as Brianna. So Brianna has 138 more rubber bands. What kind of problem is this? Well, let's think about it. Brianna has a certain amount. It's a larger number. So we say larger. And Emily has a certain amount, but it's a smaller number. And really what we're looking to do is to find out the difference between the two. Now, I told you that Brianna has 138 more rubber bands. I also could have given you this answer saying that Emily has so many fewer rubber bands. It doesn't matter. They're both still problems about comparing because you're comparing a larger number to a smaller number. Okay, now what kind of pattern is that? If you look at it, there's my little dash there. It's a subtraction pattern. So we have another subtraction pattern that we're introducing you to. Well, let's see if we can identify this subtraction pattern in a number of word problems and apply our little device that we use to attack the word problem. Here's our first problem. Christina sold $1,522 in Girl Scout cookies. Emily sold $751 in Girl Scout cookies. How many fewer cookies did Emily sell? Let's go ahead and apply this to our word problem. Please eat sugar cookies right, Larry, because he's eating them wrong. Okay, the P stands for pattern. So we have Christina who sold a lot in Girl Scout cookies and Emily sold a fewer amount. Doesn't that sound like larger minus smaller equals the difference? It does. That is a what kind of pattern? A subtraction pattern. Nice. Okay, let's do E is for equation. Let's write the equation. So the amount that Emily sold was $1,522. And the amount, the smaller amount that Emily sold was $751. And we want to find out what the difference is. But we don't know what that is, so I'm just going to write D for difference. That's my equation. Now we're going to solve and check. This is just a simple subtraction problem. I will do it over here to the side. 1522, 751, and 7, 7. So $771. Now we're going to check this by putting it back in to our equation and then we're going to add up. That's how we do it with subtraction. So we're going to take 771, whoops, 1, and add it to 751. And we get 1522, and that checks out. Now we're going to review and label. Does it make sense that she sold about $771 less? Yeah, because that's about half. That makes sense. And we're going to label, well, what are they actually collecting? They collected money. So our number is $771 is the label. And that's our answer. Let's try another problem. The number... 10,592 is how much less than 509,000? Sounds like we might have another, if P is for pattern, this sounds like another subtraction pattern because they're asking us how much less is one number than the other, and that's looking for a difference. So our pattern is a subtraction pattern. Now let's do E, eat is for equation. Let's do our equation. So we take the larger number, which in this case is 509,000, and we subtract the smaller number. In this case, that is 10592. And D is the difference. We don't know what that is. We make that the variable. Now, sugar cookie stands for solve and check. Let's go ahead and solve this. Straight subtraction. Let's do it over to the side. 509 0 
Woo, we got a lot of borrowing to do here. Here we go. Let's do it. Eight, zero, four, eight, 49. Woo! Okay, now we're going to check this answer. And in subtraction, the way you check is you add up. So I'm going to take this number and I'm going to add 10592 to it. Okay, and see if we get the 509 number. Uh, one. I'm making sure I'm lined up. Zero, five, nine, two. Eight and two is ten. Zero, zero, nine. And look, it adds right back up, so we are good. We didn't make any errors in our arithmetic. And the last one is review and label. Well, does that make sense? I mean, it's 500, excuse me, 498,000. Yeah, because this is only 10,000. This was in the 100,000s, 500,000, so... That makes sense. And what is the label? Here there isn't the label, it's just the number. It asks this what number, how much different or how much less this number was than another. So there is not a label for this problem. So our answer for, for me to write it down is four nine eight four oh eight fewer. <laughs> you could say that it's fewer. Is fewer than that number. Okay, hopefully you got the idea. Oh, again, we gotta apply our please eat sugar cookies right Larry to our problem every time. You've got that process. It takes you through the problem and you are good. All right, I will see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.